All right, ladies and gentlemen in the background, you hear the hiss of my radio. I'm going to demonstrate for you today uh, some little things you can do with uh, the sat box, which I brag about all the time, that I got from these guys up in uh, Long Island, the CNS Technology sat box. And what you see on the screen now is me. And next I'm going to show you the sat box output that's going into my computer that's making that wonderful hissing sound. <laughs> there it is right there. We are looking at Alpha Oscar-27 is the satellite we're watching right now. And you can see up in this window, uh, oh, you can't see my mouse on the screen. Okay, never mind. Uh, but if you look at the circle at the top center of the browser, you'll see there's a little green dot. Next to the green dot is a little white diamond. The white diamond is the satellite. If you see the orange box, which is right now behind the green dot, that is where my antenna is pointing at this moment. You are looking at the tracking of my Yesu rotor, uh, which has got an elevation and an azimuth adjustment. So it's adjusting vertical and horizontal where the satellite is. It will turn my Yagi antennas towards the satellite from whatever direction it's coming from. Right now, this is almost due north of me. And um, that is where the satellite is right now. It's going to pass, follow this yellow line down to the red dot. That yellow line is the position in the sky. It's going to be over my house. In this window, to the right of that, that's the vertical. If you were staring at the horizon, this is where the satellite would be. So right now, the satellite is probably about 10 degrees above the horizon. And it's going to go to a peak of 64.7 degrees. Now, what you're hearing in the background, this is an FM bird. Oh, I'm sorry. I got it on USB data. Let me change that to FM. Oh, that sounds better. And the PL tone should be 67. So we'll change the PL tone to 67. And we're only at 50% power right now. Let me lower the volume a bit. We should start hearing voices uh, when it gets up around the inner 30 degree circle in the sky diagram there. If you look at the uh, circle in the center of the screen on top, you'll see the diamond is moving along the yellow line and the pink square is what's what my antenna is pointing to and I'm already hearing voices on it. I don't have it set up where I could hook up the radio to the computer so you could hear it. I'm not there yet. I'm working on that. Anyway, if I turn the volume up, you'd hear it better, but I'm not going to transmit on this pass. I'm just monitoring so you could see how the sat box works. If you look at this line here where it says mode VHF, UHF, FM, up here you have FM. Whenever you have an FM bird, chances are the PL tone is 67. There's only a couple of satellites that it's not 67. Um, one would be SO50. You have to send a 74.4 PL tone for two seconds and then switch to 67, and you'll have access to that satellite. Most of the time, you don't have to do that because somebody else has already done that before the satellite got to you. But that's the PL tone. That triggers the repeater to know, oh, this guy wants to talk on here. I'll, I'll open up the band for him. The difference between FM and linear birds is FM, you have one door into the room. <laughs> you can only get in one way. The linear birds have a bandwidth that you can tune up and down the bandwidth until you find um, a good frequency. Now listen to, listen to the guys. I don't know if you could hear it. But basically what they do is they give their call sign and their grid square. That's it. You don't say CQ satellite on an FM bird. You just say your call sign and your grid square. Hopefully somebody will hear that. Now here's, here's a pet peeve of mine. Many guys emphasize their grid square. It's irrelevant. 
your grid square is irrelevant. If I get your call sign, I'll know your grid square. Now, if you're in a different grid square than your home QTH, yes, then you need to tell me your grid square. Now, in the window with the browser, let's see if I can get this on the screen. Uh, I see the mouse moving in, but I don't see the other window coming in. All right. Along the bottom here, if you look right along here, there's different buttons. It says control, TLE, frequency, database, rotor, network, radio, location, QSO log, pass log, window. Window is very important. With window, I can open that window and any one of these screens I can put in that window. What I like to do is I open up a window and I tell it to give me a QSO entry. QSO ENT. That means give me a form that I could fill out and use, let me see if I could add this one to the to the um, device here, window capture, window capture 2, do that. Yep, there it is. Okay, good. All right, so now we're going to transition to that. Here is the window right here that I add your call sign. So notice if I put your call sign in, <coughs> let's put mine in, K04. PDI. So I type that in there and then I tell it look up and look it populates with all my information and there you got my grid square, you got my name, where I am, Florida, my signal reports and you can put comments in right here and then you hit save and it will save the satellite information, the time, everything into a log on your, uh, I'll, as a matter of fact I'll do that, I'll, I'll hit save, add entry right here on the bottom left. Hit add entry. Now, if you look over at the other window, this one, and transition to that. Oh, now it's got everything in the way. I can't get this out of the window. Let me close that window and see if it disappears. Okay, there we go. But notice down here, here's the date, time, the satellite name, my call sign, and my grid square. It's all in there. So after I have a satellite pass, all I have to do is download this log onto my desktop, and I upload that log to Logbook of the World, and I also upload it to um, QRZ, and that's how I get my entries for my satellites into my QRZ log. All right, so now you, you got a little primer on how to use the CNS, this CNS Technologies sat box. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope, I hope that helped you out a little bit. If it didn't, or if you got questions, put them um, below, and I'll try to answer them for you. And on that note, I will tell you 73 from KO4 PDI. I'll be clear.